the map people just joining and then just getting be huge. It's kind of amazing, really. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so we have uh, Boogers. I've never seen Boogers before. Tigre has actually been uh, someone who's constantly been around in the uh, New York City scene ever since, I think, like last July. Uh, I think the first time I saw him was at the Wings before DTM. Uh, it's kind of nice to see him around because I'm pretty. I think he's been a little bit inactive. Um, for like the first few months of the year. Not really sure why, but it happens. Red Booger's uh, playing a decent keep away game, but he is fighting Greninja. And that does mean that uh, literally, I, they're both paper sizes. They'll die super, super quickly. Uh, either of them lands a good set of hits. Uh, Mewtwo definitely within kill percentage from Greninja. Greninja gets a good read. He's on a four there or an F smash. Yep, good, uh, good use of the tail. But now nah, that's there. That goes the four there. You take the stock. First Tigra's not necessarily super far behind, but he's got to really safely do a little bit more damage. And then how he's going to close out the stock. The big thing about Greninja is that he is, uh, when he's being played super optimally, he is going to be like extremely difficult to kill. Uh, so if you're playing predictably, or if you're doing things that aren't necessarily going to work on a character that's that short and that's that fragile, uh, you're going to eat a lot of punishes. Unless, like, you manage to just read his income, his uh, trajectory super well. Ooh, and a really good char supercharged F smash from Tiga to take the second stock. Booker's got to be really careful here. He doesn't have that much... Uh, he doesn't have that much space to make up ground. Uh, if he takes a lot of hits, it's gonna be over for him. And let's go. Good Shadow Ball to start us from damage. Tigre answering back with a dash attack. Uh, Greninja's dash attack is actually kind of safe in this game, uh, unlike other previous Smash games, which were just before. <laughs> but uh, dash attack is definitely a workhorse in this game, uh, much like his down tilt. Uh, it definitely gives him a lot of uh, connections into very strong kill moves, and it also allows him to make some really good reads uh, into very charged smashes, which can get him some early stocks if you're not careful with how you attack the DI. Uh, that might be it. Whoa! Like, no DI on that one. And that great forward air in the air there to finish the stock. Alright, the two stock into Tigre. Very nicely done. Ralphie DQ'd, Fang DQ'd, Mad People DQing, dude, I can't believe this. <laughs> Everybody's DQ Everybody that's a top seed is DQing, dude. Why can't people remember that dude, these freaking events? It's the most obnoxious thing, I swear. I mean, if I give you a seed, like you should at least like show up. There are some people that actually do show up consistently. Um Oh my god, why is this a 25 minute set in round one? <laughs> it doesn't matter that much. Wait, what do you have going on with this set though? Alright, so Boogers and Tigre, this is uh, one of the first round three sets we had available. Uh, it looks like Tigre, Band, Yoshi Story, and Lilac Crew. I'm um, not sure where Boogers is intending to go, but I guess we'll see you in a second. Who won game one? That uh, would be Tigre. Sick. Are you using the? Are you playing music, by the way, for between matches? Uh, between sets, sure. Uh, okay, okay, right there. Yeah. All right, so we're going to Kalos. Assuming Tigre doesn't really have any reason not to keep going Greninja. Uh, the question is really whose booger is going to go. Yep, Tigre staying Greninja. Kalos is really heavily considered to just be FD with platforms, which it does make a lot of sense when you consider the fact that there's a lot of space in between it, but it does offer a lot of advantages in Jinda in particular because that wall is really useful and it also makes it so that like the platforms on the side don't really hinder Greninja and increase his ability to go out, but the same does apply to Mewtwo. So 
It's really going to be a matter of like how they decide to use their stuff. Uh, Burger's clearly reading the Water Shirk in frame one. He went for the side B, at least hoping to maybe uh, at the very worst to knock him out of whatever jump he's going to do. But Tigre coming at the perfect trajectory. Again, Tigre just kind of like outspacing uh, Boogers. Um, Mewtwo is the kind of character that if you don't like, if you're not careful with how you approach, you get a lot of really bad punishes. And he can be combo food. He is super light, but also like super large. So he doesn't have a lot of room for error, honestly. Alright, nice grab. Good, uh, good grab to, to catch up in there. Oh, and Tigre reading that he was going to throw the Shadow Ball because he has been doing like, he's never thrown like a fully charged Shadow Ball. Uh, throughout the set, Tigre was reading that he was going to do like a multi charge and went for the counter, but Booger just put it away. <laughs> he's put away his rocket. And unfortunately, the drag down in there is up smash. Not really sure if uh, Mitsuku has a hitting hitbox on the side that can lift up Greninja. I mean, just really short. Uh, just standing, so he can't really rely on uh, on Nair to up smash to be a workhorse for him. Oh, and a really good wall jump from uh, Boogers. That's really the big thing about the stage is like it does offer a lot of extra movement opportunities for characters with wall jump. Uh, not to mention recovery opportunity. And just like that, this matchup is even again. Boogers actually overtaking the lead. Very nice. Burgers kind of uh, has his back up against the wall a little. Trying, he's starting to figure out how to move in this matchup. Um, but he has to be super careful because, as has been said before, like he's above paper tigers. Like they can do a lot of damage, but uh, if either of them takes more than like four or five hits, they're done. And right now, Burgers is in the position where he can very easily lose a stock if he's not careful. Oh, good, good, good forward air. Does Good for air for the counter punch there. And a very well placed Shadow Ball. Uh, grab for either of these characters might actually be enough. And a down air coming down. A sour spot down air from YouTube. Finishing the stock for Boogers. And T Gray immediately came back and took, the, took it with a forward air. And I heard a voice Hey, Dom. You're a sour spot. You're not a caster. What are you doing here? Oh, whoops. Well, you can cast if you want. <laughs> But no, you gotta actually like so, yeah, watch well, Dom's like wrong, wrong day. <laughs> yeah, wrong day. Whoops, my yeah. bad. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're a sour spot. What? <laughs> no, I just completely threw off my train of thought. All right, so we have Tigre. Tigre actually holding a decent lead. He has Boogers out with no jump, and Boogers. Not realizing that since he'd already used his side beat once before in the double jump, uh, that was not going to offer him any extra lift. That's unfortunate. Uh, Tigger taking that pretty good, very solid towards the end. Boogers is actually making up a lot of ground, but he was able to kind of bring it 